Welcome guys, Demo here at Perfect Gaming Guides, bringing you part 4 of my Grist playlist series. The playlist covers the full 100% walkthrough guide of the game guys, including all 17 achievements for a total 1000 gamer score. In this fourth video, we will be covering off level 4 of the game, and we will be gaining a further 3 achievements, which are the Depression achievement, the Yellow achievement, and the Eel achievement. Okay, let's get into it. As before guys, I will try and keep the commentary to a minimum so that you get to enjoy the game. You need to make sure that you use the double jump guys, otherwise you won't make it across to that platform. Then we head down there and we're going to get our first memento of this stage.
we're just going to use these mushrooms to get as far over to the left as possible here guys and on this final mushroom if we smash it as a block we're going to get the hearts pop up and that's going to allow us to boost up here that takes us up to this area and that gets us our second memento So the trick to this here is guys, is get as high as possible on your jump and then try and move over to the left, turn into a block and as soon as you hit the water, try and head over to the right. This bit's a bit of a pain to be honest guys, you'll notice that there's like a kind of shock wave keeps happening and it turns you into ice basically in whatever state that you're in. So we're going to turn into a block and that's going to give us the height to get up onto this area here. Then when we get on here we're basically going to create a block, let it freeze then jump on top of it, create another block on top of that one and then that will freeze and the one below it will disappear. Once we get three blocks high, we should be able to jump up onto this platform, make it up onto the block and jump off the block onto the other platform. And that gets us our first star of this level. Now this puzzle here, it's not really obvious exactly what you're supposed to do, but what you need to do is put a block underneath the pot that is already raised. So we turn into a block there and we let it freeze. Then we make our way up to the top of that pot and we're going to turn into a block again. That's going to freeze and it smashes the one below and opens up the area with the star in it. Now that we've got our second start, we can start heading back to the left and we're going to gain a new ability from that.
And when we hit the water guys, we are swimming pretty much like a fish. And if you use the A button, it makes you dart faster in the water. As soon as we get through this area here, we want to turn immediately to the right guys. On the right hand side here in this cave is our next memento. Then we try and pick up this star, but it's going to try and get away from us, guys. So we've got a bit of a chase on our hands. And if you just keep following it, you're never going to catch it. So what you need to do is get to this position here, get the star to move, and you just stay put, or start heading back in the opposite direction, and eventually you'll catch it. So this area here is a bit weird, it's quite difficult to see where the openings are guys. We make our way through there and we pick up our next star. Now we're going to head along here and we need to go in here and pick up these hearts to give us the extra boost. And this is just taking us back to the bit that we were at a second ago guys. So we need to boost out of the water and then hit the hearts and boost off that to make it up to this water up here. We fall down through there that's going to take us down into this temple where our next memento is
takes a bit of practice this bit guys but basically what you're going to do is use the dart function so when you're in the water aim in the direction that you want to boost out of the water to make it up to the opposite tower and then just press your A button and that should help boost you across. So with that bit there guys you're going to boost out of the water and then use your double jump to make it back into the water above. Then we just need to make our way all the way down to the very bottom. And we will be able to pick up our next star. The red shell in the centre there guys is quite good for using for navigating so that you know what areas that you've been to and which ones you haven't. Get another star right at the top of that red tree there guys so we need to go down into this area and grab the hearts first of all Then we can swim through this temple and clear all of this red stuff, seaweed, whatever it is. Pick up another heart and head back through the temple. And then we can use it to boost right up to the top there and pick up our next star. So we head down here guys and quite difficult to find but if you just hug to the left hand side and sort of push left eventually you'll find this entrance here. We come into this area where the statue is and up pops our achievement for depression. That's our first achievement in this level of the game. If you're finding the guides useful guys, I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel so that I can keep making these videos. A like for the video would also be appreciated guys. Now we're just going to make our way over towards that red shell. And we discover it's actually a turtle. So we just follow the turtle guys.
When the turtle stops, you can just keep going down the way, guys. So I've just took it nice and slowly here guys so that it's easy to follow. It's quite easy to get lost underwater. That waterfall that's coming down from the hand of the statue, guys, we want to swim up that. Once we get into the hand, our cutscene starts. press and hold the B button and we will get our next achievement which is the yellow achievement. So immediately after that pops guys we're going to get into a chase so there's going to be an eel that's chasing us here and it is important that we don't get caught by the eel. This is a missable achievement guys. open his mouth really wide and when he does that he's going to do like a kind of fake bite and then he's actually going to bite so you just need to time your boost so pressing the A button just wait until he's literally about to bite you and you just boost away if he hits you you'll start to roll in the water guys and if that happens you will need to redo this bit to get the achievement so eventually the eel is going to split in two when the cave gets a bit narrower it's the same again, it's just going to keep chasing you, trying to bite you. It's then going to split into thousands of tiny eels and you basically just keep swimming and they can't catch you. Then we find ourselves at the end of that chase and we're in an area with lots of jellyfish. We just want to start swimming up the way guys. And again, just take my time here so that it's easier for you to follow because as I said, it is quite easy to get lost in these tunnels.
try and use some of the plants as a reference as to where you are guys compared to me. And this bit here on the left, we just keep hugging to the left hand side and there's an entrance in here. That's going to take us into this cave and we can get our next memento. As you leave this cave guys, you will see that there is like a spike coming from the ceiling right there. Just if you come across that and you can't find the cave, if you just double back, the cave will just be directly behind that spike. going to start heading back down here guys and the eel is going to start chasing us again. So that first bite that it does there that flips us backwards that doesn't count as a hit. Those short ones there those don't matter. Again each time it's opening its mouth really wide that's when it can possibly do you damage. So it's those bites that you need to avoid. If you manage to do that without getting bit by the eel guys, you will get the eel achievement pop up. If you didn't manage to do that successfully guys, you can use chapter select. Once you have completed the game, you can go back in and try it again. Pretty close to the end of this level now guys. This bit here guys, there's like a concealed entrance to the right hand side here. Boosting up to this area here. There is another concealed entrance below and to the right of where we are right now. So we need to boost out of the water using the A button at an angle so that we make it across into this area and that is going to get us our next memento. Remember guys, you need to collect all of the mementos in all of the chapters of the game for the memento achievement.
So this bit, guys, we're just going to boost out of the water and the trees. Sometimes you need to use the double jump when you leave the water as well. Just keep heading up here. get to the tree here, a short cutscene is going to start and that ends part 4 of the playlist guys. I hope you found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button too, I'd really appreciate it guys. I will hopefully see you in part 5 where we will complete the next stage of the game and gain some more achievements. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys.